Hello everyone and welcome to Day Trader S&P 500. This is Dale Woodson, one of Timer Digest top ranked stock market timers. Today is November 4th, 2020. While I bring my 30 plus years of trading experience to the channel, I am relative, well let's uh, show you guys our uh, track record here for our new service, our short term trader service which day trades and scalps. You can see our three year trading record there and while I have been around for 30 years and relatively trading that is I'm much older than that uh, I have been uh, relatively new to YouTube so we appreciate if you guys can hit that subscribe button don't forget to uh, hit that uh, reminder bell and the like button I appreciate you patronizing our channel and while I do average over 700 trades a year sometimes 20 or 30 a day if you don't feel like sitting around in front of your monitor all day and trading like I do, you can always contact Stryker Securities. They will auto trade Woodson Wave Report for you. Today is exciting things going on, major uh, events in the market today. Of course, we're always looking at technical, so we're speaking of technical. Uh, if you know our last um, report, we were looking at a make or break level of 34.15 and the market broke above that level so let's uh, review here from the March lows to the September highs we have a completed five wave pattern to the upside I'm sorry we have a completed three ways we have one there two there and three and we're looking at four and let's just be technically um, let's do that again my apologies. Here we go. We have a one, a two, a three, and we were looking at four. And we were um, looking for a flat correction to 31.69. This would be A, B, and C. I think I can show that a little better on the next chart here. Here is that September 2nd high. So we're looking for a flat correction where. Um, we would get equality with A, B, and C. And there would be uh, A down, there would be B up, and uh, C would equal A, it was 31.69. And we were looking at this um, B wave up here. Let's put that up there for everyone to see. We'll do the uh, A, B, C, just so we're all on the same page here. Bear with me try that again and let's get the ABC that's a that's B and we were looking for C down there that's where C gains equality with wave one we had a a beginning diagonal triangle one two three four five and that's where we had the break of 34 15 which was right there that was our one so four can't go above one so that negated that count so now we're uh, what's with the new count okay well if we can look at this um, Fibonacci retracements here because this plays in you can see that the retracement up is so far a perfect 786 Fibonacci retracement level I'll go through the alternate count first okay our alternate count is that this is developing triangle which would be a contracting triangle so let me show that first okay so we would be looking at um, let's get that in here all right an A a B a C a D and then an E as you can see it'd be lower highs and higher lows where it's scrunching in if you will okay and we could expect that if that does happen wave E would retrace a 786 of wave D because B was roughly 786 a little more and uh, D and D retraced 786 as you can see here so let's wipe that off and let's get a target for if this is a contracting triangle which is our top alternate count now so let me get that retracement here let me move this out of the way so well we're having a little trouble today aren't we okay let's remove that I want to move these guys out of the way so I can give you guys a, a 
good number here for the D wave if we get it. And we can get into the primary count real soon. Okay, so I've got that pretty close. So if we look at a contracting triangle, we're looking for a move down to the 3287 level, okay? That's our top alternate count. Our main count is that the flat ended here, okay? So this is A down, B up, and C down. You can see we've got a clear five waves to the upside. But before we get into that, let's look at this flat a little more closely and a little review here. If that is the end, and you guys have been watching our channel for a little while, may be familiar with this, our Fibonacci time spiral here, which I've used going all the way back to 1998. Uh, sometimes this worked like a champ, sometimes not so much. This time, just awesome. It, it called every turning point high and low between the wave three all-time high on September 2nd to the wave four low on October 30th. You can see A, B, and C for wave A, and we had 9.11 for the low. It was looking for 9.10. It had a slippage of plus one day. Then the wave B high, again, 9.16, slippage of plus one day from 9.15. And then the next one is it's an alternating low, high, low. Wave C low, which is the larger wave A, looking for it on 9.23. We got it. Uh, slippage of one day again on 924. This one kind of fooled us here, but uh, the B wave high, we we're looking for it on 106. Uh, it actually occurred on 1012, uh, four trading days later. And then lo and behold, 55 days, which usually marks a low from the high, was 1027. Three days later on 1030, the market made a low. And then look what happened since then. And you can see here, our um, getting a little ahead of ourselves, but uh, in our primary wave count, if this is the bottom of four, which is shown here, you can see a clear five waves up from that low. And by the way, this is Monday, gap open. Tuesday, gap open. Wednesday, gap open. There is five waves. Excuse me, that is wave one. And here are wave two targets. We don't have to draw them on the Fibonacci. I got them right here. If this Fibonacci time spiral continues to mark alternating highs and lows with respect to time. Then the f next Fibonacci number in the sequence is 89 and it points to November 30th. So if this, is going, if this is going to continue to serve us, then we can look for wave five up um, near or around November 30th. So that's, a, that's interesting stuff and it uh, really helped us trade well uh, all the way from September into the end of October. So let's get back into our uh, our wave count here. And let's see here. We could get into, give me a minute here. And there's that one, two, three, four, five. There was our make or break. Oh, I wanted to get a wave five target for you guys. That's what I wanted to do. So let me get back to this one here. Okay, here's our one, two, three, four. Um, yeah, we're going to throw five up here. So let's get uh, our Fibonacci extensions. And here is wave one. You can see wave three was almost a perfect one to one ratio with wave one. Let's get rid of that and we'll get a target price for wave five. Get back into our extensions. Here is the wave one low. And then we'll catch the wave four low, which is now here. We can scroll up and see our target is 39.96. So we're looking for wave five to gain equality with wave one at 39.96. Where are we wrong? What's our make or break? It's right here. It's the wave four low of 32.33. Any break below here, and this count is wrong. We'll reassess at that time. But in the meantime, it looks like this is the beginning of wave one of five. Okay, and it's really gapping up. It's presenting a pretty good trading opportunity very near term on the uh, short side because this is obviously a five waves up. It could extend, um, but if not, look for pullbacks to here before wave three goes up, which will be a very strong and powerful move. Okay, everyone, thanks again. We appreciate you supporting our channel. Until next time, take care, everyone.